All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be talking about Omi and a Hellcat's a manager. He posted this a couple days ago on his uh, Instagram story feed. Apparently one of his stores got robbed, right? And he posted about this on his uh, YouTube channel like just two months ago. Like he just announced two months ago that he started like a bunch of stores where I guess he's selling blunts or whatever else he's selling in these stores. Um... And then we're also going to talk about the shoes that Omi and the Hellcat just released a couple days ago. He just released a new, I guess, a new design. And he's got some kind of new special going on. Like you buy one and get the second one for a dollar, right? And um, I read the comments and there's a lot of pushback. You know, people are complaining just like the last time they released shoes. Um, and I guess the shoes weren't delivered to the customers. People that wanted refunds didn't get refunds. So there's a whole bunch of backlash going on with these uh, new release shoes that we're going to check out today. Um, it just seems like Omi, whoever he left management to, um, has done a terrible job. It looks like they did a pretty bad job in, uh, in handling business. So we're going to talk about that. So yeah, so this is the video, like I was saying, that his manager posted um, a couple of days ago on his Instagram story feed. So I wanted you guys to check it out before we talk about it, man. Because I ain't going to lie, man. This stuff looks real sketchy, man. This is stuff looking real, real sketchy. So you got you got three, three suspects, right? And they're walking around this store. Like, I thought this is a robbery, right? I thought they're going to rob the store. I thought shit would be quicker. I thought this would be a lot quicker. And this, this, I'm not slowing. This is not like I didn't slow down the video or whatever. Like, they're just casually walking, picking up a few items. And they're just going like that. Like, again, man, like I said, look, let's replay this again, man. Something is just not, something just doesn't make sense. They got, they got trash bags, right? I think all three of them got trash bags. You got a big ass trash bag and you're only picking up a handful of items. Like this doesn't, like he, what is he, he just picked up one item that the guy on the left he picked up one bottle or whatever two bottles looked like he came back and picked up another bottle why why would you walk in with a trash bag and walk out with like two two little ass bottles like some that shit don't make any sense man it doesn't make sense um yeah so this is the video he posted two months ago I started a one million dollar business which. I don't know that I would have dropped a video like that where he just walks around. This is actually the same store that he dropped a video about two months ago. It's the same store that apparently got robbed, right? Um, and he's got like a $1,000 reward for names. I don't know, man. Like my opinion, this is just my opinion, folks, because I know a bunch of people are real sensitive. Um, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but this stuff looks kind of fake. Like, it looks like it's just like a setup. Maybe he ain't selling that well. Maybe it really ain't a million-dollar business operation, million dollars in revenue. Because the way they came in there, they just robbed, like, a few items. It's like, what kind of, like, criminals are these? They're going to go in there and just pick up a few items? A few, if you got a trash bag, I'm thinking you're going to go in there and just take the whole shelf. Take the whole shelf or something like that. Not like he's just like they look like they're shopping in there. They're shopping with the with the trash bag because they're like picking up certain items, right? Unless they're like really picky, they must be like really picky uh, criminals or whatever. Like I'm like, why would you come in there with a big ass trash bag? Especially the dude on the left. He literally just picked up a few items from the back and then two bottles, whatever bottles those are. I think those is that like PCP or something like that. And uh, now he's posting this, a $1,000 reward. Let me know. I don't know, $1,000 seems like a little low. Like, what What would you, you can't do anything with 1000 bucks now. So I don't know what this is. 
Is this supposed to be like him robbing the register or something like that? It looks so, um, yeah, some things just don't add up. So this is what I was talking about. Omina Hellcat, he's announcing the dollar party. So buy one pair and get the other one for a dollar. The online dollar party. So like I said, you got a bunch of comments. Um, just like last time, they announced a very similar uh, new design shoe or something like that. Order number 5927, June 8th. I ordered two luckies, two biggies. One lucky, 11 and a half, never arrived. No update, no nada. You the same guy writing us with your delivery? That's weird. How is that weird? He's giving you the order number. How is that weird? I don't get it. Comments got me shook. I'ma just wait till Omi come home. Um, he said people just saying anything as usual. We ship all orders out. Uh, somebody else said yes. That's why you're scamming with one dollar. LOL. Yeah, and never get them shipped. We'll tag you on Monday when we ship out over five thousand orders from this weekend. Um, I actually got to find the older post because that one had like a bunch of comments. It had like thousands of comments or a couple hundred comments where people were complaining they didn't get their order. There was some shit going on between Omi's manager and his girl at the time. A whole bunch of back and forth and the company customers were just like kept out of it. Um, I think I'm going to wait till Omi come home because there's too many people complaining. Multiple comments saying the same thing can't be capped. I experienced it myself, and I don't know none of these people in here saying those claims. Rather than coming at people who done spent a bag with you, worry about getting this shit company back right. Start with getting everything right. Who ain't got they stuff, then customer service. I'm not hating, just stating facts. You guys see that? I mean, these are you real people, real usernames. You guys can go look them up on Instagram. I still ain't get mine, still... Mimi did that scamming shit. They said mine would be shipped after that. Never did. I never got mine. This seems like a, a killer deal, but I'm not going to get scammed. I'm from the same place he is. He is capping everything. He has. He scammed. This dude's all over the con, all over the place. We going to trust the dude who's in jail for scamming to send us some shoes after we buy them. This post is legendary. It's a lot of comments, man. It's, I just had to highlight um I just had to highlight some of them, but it's the same problem. Um I was just thinking Omina oh, Hellcat instead of having his friends manage the company like this I don't even know who's really managing this Omina oh, Hellcat account cuz I thought I thought Michael was managing it. I thought last time Michael came out actually even put the video here. Um, let me share the video. Let me share it here. 50,000 DMs right now. You guys have to understand everything that has been posted has happened since back in July. We've had these videos planned out. All the drama, all this stuff was already been done and been planned for the past two years, guys. This is nothing new. So I just want to let you guys know that all these DMs and everything I'm getting, stop reporting the posts if you want to see what's going on. And yeah, everything has been planned for a while, so this is nothing new. We're gonna have to continue this story another time because we got a strike on the page that now I have to fight, and um, we don't want the page to get deleted because my job right now is to keep the page alive, keep Omi's name alive, and just keep posting as much as I can. Um, I haven't heard from Omi in, since July. I have over a hundred thousand different videos and photos that have been scheduled to post since then. So just stay tuned and we'll keep posting. All right. So that was, I guess, Omi and a Hellcat's uh, manager. You guys got to see it posted under Omi and a Hellcat's account. So I guess he's the one in the comment section responding to people or whatever. Maybe like some people are saying that Omi and a Hellcat has access to a phone in prison and he's accessing the comment section and replying back. Who knows? Who knows exactly what's going on? Um, but you guys heard the first couple of seconds. I don't know if you guys heard it or listened to what he was saying. You might have to replay it. He said all that fake drama between him and his girlfriend, Omina Hellcat and Mimi, 
That stuff is all fake. It was all pre-planned. He had literally, he has over 100,000 posts, I guess, and pictures and videos that he wants to post. But he hasn't really been posting all that much. It seems like the manager has kind of been lazy. Or maybe he just focused on his own business ventures that he kind of neglected Omina Hellcat. And that's kind of what I assume happened with the whole shoe stuff. Because it's comments like this. This is from the last time they released the shoes. People were complaining. Um, it doesn't seem like anybody's really managing the whole warehouse or I guess the shoe business operation. No, it's unclear who's really managing this stuff. At first they said it was Mimi. Then I guess there was a fallout. But then he just said that that whole fallout, that whole breakup was all fake. All that fake drama was pre-planned two years ago. So I don't know which one it is. Is it fake or is it real? Because you said that she was managing the shoe business and shit wasn't like handled. Orders weren't being processed. People are complaining in the comments. So it's it's so messy, man. It's super messy. It's like it's unclear. Like is she like is she messing up the business operation or is it fake? Which one is it? Because you can't say on video um, this this fake drama or this drama was pre-planned two years ago. And uh, we got like post a hundred thousand posts or whatever, so something uh something smells kind of fishy here. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, it seems like with the new release that just happened a couple days ago, there's people in the comment section um that are unsure. They're not sure what to do because they're like, um, the last time we did this, shoes did not get delivered. And uh, when we wanted a refund, there was a delay. Some people, I guess, still couldn't get a refund. And, um, yeah, I mean, this is literally comment after comment after comment. Customer service, don't reply. I o always order shoes. Um, does people realize that every company preprint labels even before the merch come in? Somebody said as soon as they as soon as they do buy one get one free like now right they said buy one get one for a dollar um y'all not getting no refund man i'm so glad i ain't mess with y'all woohoo i knew something was shady you only had a size 5 yeah and that's the other thing i don't know why like they know they have a lot of customers why not why not have more sizes? Why they, I feel like they just do that stuff on purpose. Like they only make a certain limited production so that they say they sold out or whatever. Um, how are we supposed to know if we're part of the 70% you guys made a shipping label, but nothing else happened? Does that mean sneakers are coming? Right, because that's all my tracking is saying also. Yeah, this stuff is all... This is what happens when you got a Instagram-ran business. Not a, like a real... I guess like you don't have real people managing. And this is like... This is the one thing like... I know Omina Hellcat is like a real... Like he's a real businessman. But I don't think he does a good job in hiring people. I feel like he always wants to keep the money in-house. Which makes sense, right? He wants to keep the money in a circle but you got a bunch of people on your team that are kind of like snakes i don't and it's like also kind of fishy because um they made it seem like mimi was wasn't really handling business but she was handling business when he when he before he went to prison so when he goes to prison now they're saying she's not handling business she's like on some other kind of business because of the personal fallout or whatever and then you get a video from his manager that you guys clearly just heard, right? He said that this was all fake. This drama was pre-planned two years ago. So it's like, well, what's going on then? Because you guys made it seem like she wasn't really taking care of his shoe business because of some kind of, like, fallout. And then you come out with a video saying that this fake drama is all pre-planned. So which one is it, man? What is going on with you guys? But this is what I'm saying. Like, you can't have family and friends, like, Generally speaking, you shouldn't have family and friends running a business for you. Like, you should just leave that shit alone. You need to hire real professionals, 
hire real people um, because family and friends, they might do a good job now the first couple months. And after that, they don't give a fuck. And I, that kind of, that's the vibes I get out of this. That's where I think Omi and a Hellcat um, needs to get on top of business when he gets out. But yeah, this is pretty wild, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.